Vote 2024, the entire country is watching a state political race that you've seen flooding the airways for months. It's the race between Tom Leake and David Shore for state Senate. Sources tell News 4 Jax that because of the high profile endorsements in the race, including former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, political observers across America are watching it. News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson joins us live with details of how a race for state Senate has drawn such massive attention, Scott. Kent, I want to start by saying this is only a state Senate race, not even the U.S. Senate. It only affects Florida. But we have seen what's become an endorsement war happening between the absolute peaks of the Republican Party. The endorsements in this race for state Senate are like no other. First, let's start at the top. Tom Leake early on was endorsed by Governor DeSantis. Then last week, News for Jax confirmed President Donald Trump endorsed his opponent, David Shore. I talked to conservative radio host Ed Dean. Much of his audience is Republican, who favor both Trump and DeSantis. And practically every ad he's running right now are from the two campaigns. How often is this being played in your radio program? They own my show here, Scott. That's almost like a proxy war. So Leak has the endorsements of Governor DeSantis, Jimmy Petronas, Ashley Moody, and a lot of the, I mean, the Senate Republican establishment ensures maybe his only endorsement he needs, excluding trial lawyers supporting him, has been, just came out, what, two weeks ago, Donald Trump. Do you think that changed the race when he was able to secure that Trump endorsement? From what we understand, according to Under the Radar reports, Leak was up by about 12 points. Those that are helping out with the Shore campaign have close ties to Donald Trump. They convinced Trump to do it. Now it's they think it's pretty well tied. Then right below Trump and DeSantis, there are multiple other high-profile endorsements. First, Leak has received the endorsement of local sheriffs, including St. John's County Sheriff Robert Hardwick. Then on the opposite side, you have trial lawyers like John Morgan, who put out this video on X criticizing Tom Leak. But here's the deal. Remember the crises for homeowners? Well, there was a special session, and the leader of that special session was Tom Leak, who worked for an insurance company. Now, when he came to Congress, he was worth about a million bucks. When he left, he was worth about 16 million bucks. I spoke to Leak at the Republican National Convention. He says trial lawyers are opposed to him because he supported tort reform, and he knew these attacks would come. Listen, I didn't ask for this. None of my races have ever been like this. No one has ever accused me of not being conservative. Uh, I knew it was coming. I knew one day they'd come looking for their pound of flesh, and now it's my time to fight back, and I'm just going to keep fighting. Dean says while the ballot says Leak versus Shore, some view this race as Trump versus DeSantis. That's why I say it's almost like a proxy war. It's in other words where it seems like anything DeSantis support, Trump's going to oppose. That's how it's been described in some areas. And both sides have called for the other to drop out. So last month, the Republican incoming head of the state Senate called on Shore to drop out. Then last week, Shore sent me a statement calling for Leak to drop out. Here's an excerpt from that statement. If he truly supports President Trump, then I call on Tom Leak to drop out of the race and end the negative tax against me. Across the aisle, whoever, wants, uh, whoever wins the election next week will face Democrat George Anthony T. Hill in the second in November. Now, Democratic leaders from our area and across the country will come together next week for the Democratic National Convention. It starts Monday in Chicago. I will be there speaking with our local delegates during the day and covering the major speeches at night. My live coverage starts Sunday night when I arrive in Chicago and goes through the entire DNC, which ends a week from tomorrow. Kent. Yeah.